Oil gas came back with a pH of 7.28 and decreased HGO3, which means two things. Most importantly, Cameron was wrong about the bicarb. And less significantly, we have a new symptom. Anion gap acidosis. Who's chubby? Come on. Pretend he loves puppies. Pretend he's a human being. What do you got? I think we should reconsider drugs. He already tested negative. That's why I said reconsider. Back in juvie, cut up oregano and sold it as pot. Is that how you put yourself through med school? What if Clarence thought he was taking heroin, but it was something else? What something else could lead to anion gap acidosis? Mud pots. Well, you don't have to ask. Just wash your hands before you come back. Methanol, uremia, diabetes. Oh, it's a mnemonic. That makes sense, too. Formaldehyde, INH, lactic acid. Rewind. INH. Yahtzee. Drugs with tuberculosis. Nearly a quarter of the prison population is infected with TB. Clever entrepreneur like Foreman here. Chops up his meds, passes it off as heroin. INH poisoning would explain all the symptoms. Who wants to head over to the prison and find Clarence's secret stash? Fine, I'll do it. Great. Chase it is. I assume you have a reason beyond wanting to make me completely miserable? You got a prettier mouth. Better chance the inmates will open up to you.